Hello and welcome to this video for Electric Pages. I'm your host, Robin Mitchell. Today we are here at Munich Electronica 2024 and it's been an absolutely fantastic event. And I'm joined by my very good friend Paulis from the Little Few Stand. Thank you Hello. for having us today. Nice to have you here. So, before we jump into the demonstrations, my first question to you is, for the sake of the audience, tell them who you are, what you do, and what you like to do in your free time. Okay, so I'm uh, Polos, working for Little Views as business development manager for building solution appliances, and I'm working with uh, one of the Little Views innovations that we will talk uh, soon. And yeah, as I'm from Lithuania, uh, basketball is number one choice. Fantastic. So, just tell us what is going on here today. Okay, so Little Fuse recently, you know, uh, the batteries is really something that's coming to the market, various applications. And uh, Little Fuse originally is, uh, you know, all about the safety and efficiency. So, we were working uh, to make a batteries uh, better in terms of safety, longevity and so forth. And uh, we developed this nice feature, uh, this nice device, uh, which we call a digital temperature indication device, the T-tape. Yeah. So basically, maybe on this battery is a bit better. So this is a flexible uh, material digital indication device. So each black dot has a, is a sensor itself, and you can glue on the battery and get a digital signal uh, from the pack that, you know, if one of the cells is overheating. So. so, my first question is, this looks like a loop. Is, is the, are these individual chips or are they sort of like passive sensors? Uh, this is a passive sensor. Yep. So, and you are correct, they are connected in series, yep. basically. But in the end, you know, you, usually you are not taking apart uh, the, the, the battery module itself. So, we, are, we were thinking how to make it simpler. So basically, if you want to get the overheating temperature from the battery pack itself, uh, usually for engineers need to know only that, okay, something is bad or with my battery pack, or if you are looking for efficiency, one of the cells is uh, overheating, maybe I should reduce the, the power, shut off the charging and so forth, depending on the architecture. So cell. this is not something that you would measure individual sensors, it's kind of like this, the whole thing in general. So Correct. if you see something wrong, you can react to it much faster. And because it's a tape, it's a lot easier to install onto pre-existing solutions. Correct. And yep. probably to add or expand, it's not only to check if something is wrong, but also it, it, the device gives you this uh, sensing redundancy. You don't need to put a lot of NTCs on your battery pack. You just need that one strip. Yeah, right one there. strip, and you get this uh, you know, uh, better map, let's say, of the temperature. And if, if one cell is overheating, you you know that you can take some actions, preventive actions, and and you know this is an interesting uh, this is an interesting sort of direction because a lot of the time a lot of companies are trying to worry about measuring every single cell, trying to figure out oh if that cell's damaged we can turn it off whatever. But in reality, if any cell goes wrong, you want to stop the vehicle and, or, 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 or take action immediately. So it doesn't really matter which cell has broken. The fact that a cell is broken is the danger. Yes, and it correct. seems to me that this is what that's going to empower. Yes, correct. And actually, in many cases, the module itself is uh, sealed off anywhere you cannot do anything inside the, the, the yeah. module itself. So if something is bad, if you're concerned about safety, yeah, you need yeah. to, to stop and, it. And, and it's not way. like you can turn one cell off and carry on driving. That's not how that works. Because if that one cell is gone, it's yes. going to cause a cascade effect. So yeah, and that's that seems correct. really interesting. So um, of course, this also seems like the world's longest th yeah. thermistor. <laughs> so, is it, it's, so, so how long can these go? Uh, so now it's uh, up to one meter. Yep. Comes out from the production line, but also there is a possibility to stitch more devices into series. So, 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 uh, and so it really comes just uh, almost like the strip LEDs. You can just put them as long as you need, essentially. Right. And then you can monitor as many cells. Yeah, and, and then it would have some limitation on the, you know, the yeah. resistance itself. But yeah, one meter is totally fine uh, for most of the modules. Now, in terms of the distances and the spacings between these little uh, individual sensors, is that something that will accommodate industrial standard size for cells, or is it specifically for this type of cell? Uh, so our aim is to adapt this device for various architectures, yeah. various types of cells. So basically, we can modify the length, depending on how many cells you are using. Uh, we can modify the spacing between the 
uh, temperature points, uh, what you need to, to connect that. So it's really adopts the various types of battery modules. Now, we've got a little demonstration here, and I'm quite interested to see what's going on. Could you go through with what's being used here? Yeah, it's very simple. Uh, it's very simple, uh, basically, show off how the T-tape works. So over here, you can see the three sensing um, points and the small heater uh, underneath. Yeah, and basically, oh, I can see yeah, two little power resistors so you can heat it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's correct. So basically, each point is, this one is uh, on automatic mode at the moment, but each point is uh, heating up. And you can see beneath the, the, the millivolts showing off how the uh, device is working. Yeah? And, uh, you can see now it went down. So the device activation is from 58 to 45 uh, degrees. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, to explain that, uh, the device activates at 58 degrees Celsius. So you can see here the temperature is rising. And once it reaches uh, 58, the resistance of one of the points shoots up and you get a signal that uh, uh, you are overheating already. Yeah? And then it's decreased, so it has this uh, hysteresis, which uh, allows allows against the false stripping itself. So it's not, so it's not just, a, it's not basically just a standard NTC type of resistor. We're talking, it actually has like that that hysteresis behavior, whereby you need to go beyond a certain threshold before it even starts. To yes, sort, yes, yes. Sort of change. So that's why it's a bit more like a digital indication device, and it's uh, also compared with some other technologies. This way, it uh, reacts faster. So once it reaches, it shoots up and that's it. And on top of that, because of that behavior, it's not a case of if every one of these is all sort of 30 degrees, it adds up to a larger thing. It's like they'll all technically be sort of closed normally, but then the resistance, I imagine the resistance increases yes. when it gets warm. Yes. But it, but it happens at a certain point. So it's kind of like if you have 100 in, a, in, in series, the resistance when it's cold is kind of not that different to having 10 in series. Yes. But the moment one of them goes up, the entire chain is broken. So that's actually an interesting way of doing it. Yes, um, so because they're all in series, is there, do you think there's any way that you could almost determine which one of these has been triggered? Yeah. At the moment, uh, we are working on this. So, you know, there is, because uh, this is the patent of solution yeah. anyway. So we are still also trying to prove it and develop that. Yeah. As mentioned before, usually, uh, and customers do not uh, need to differentiate each cell individually, uh, but uh, we are working on that solution. For the, and is this a solution? Uh, sorry, sorry. Is this a solution that is available today, or is it something that's still in development? This? That's still in development. I so, mean, this PVDC or the, the I mean, this, this one differentiation. Right here. This one is already in the production. Oh, fantastic! So that's fantastic. Uh, that's already you can buy. Them. And so, okay, so it's just going to be just go onto the TT site, and you'll be able to see where you can get these things. Yeah. So. In terms of like the business plan for the next five years for Little Fuse with this kind of technology, where do you see it going? Yeah. So we are trying to expand it because we see really the potential of this kind of measuring for the uh, for the battery modules. Yeah. Uh, so we are uh, implementing more thresholds yeah. onto the device. Uh, we also can offer the uh, uh, two strings in one device, so you get uh, two digital points per one single device as well. And also we have some ideas how we, we can combine this one with the NDCs on one, on one device. Fantastic. So for those engineers who are watching this video, if they want to get involved with Little Fuse Solutions, including these strips, what would you recommend that they do? Well, probably first is to reach out Little Fuse. So... Yep. Reach out to Paulius. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. So thank you ever so much for taking the time yeah. to see us today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.